Welcome to the Leicester How To Channel. Today we will explain how to operate the Fusion 1 portable extrusion welder along with some tips and tricks. The Fusion 1 is packed in a carrying case along with a welding shoe and pistol grip. To begin, place Fusion 1 on its side on a clean surface. Connect the plug to power supply. Make sure the outlet is the correct voltage. Turn on the Fusion 1 blower. Adjust the red temperature knob to position 7 and let it heat up for approximately 5 minutes. The LED light will come on when it's ready to weld. The pistol grip can be attached if needed. To attach the anchor bolt, remove the front filter clip and screw on the eye bolt. Based on the thickness of the material to be welded and the required weld geometry, select the correct welding shoe. The shoe is stamped, indicating the geometry of the weld and the base material thickness. change welding shoes, remove the welding shoe while the machine is still at operating temperature. To clean brass fitting, use a soft brass brush. All Fusion 1 welding shoes combine both plast and preheat, and can be easily rotated 360 degrees. When attaching the welding shoe, lock it in by tightening the set screws with a 3mm Allen wrench. Insert the welding rod on either side, not both. If necessary for capturing moisture and dust, a cleaning cloth can be clamped to the welding rod in the front of the intake, keeping the intake area clean. The recommended processing temperatures are available from the material manufacturer. Turn the red temperature knob to adjust the air temperature. The Fusion 1 air temperature is automatically measured at a depth of 5 mm inside the preheating nozzle. The plast temperature can be manually measured with the thermometer probe at a 10 mm depth inside the welding shoe. For ideal weld seam preparation, it is recommended to scrape the base material to remove the oxidation layer. To begin welding, preheat the base material using the hot air from the Fusion 1 preheat nozzle and verify the base material preheat depth with a screwdriver. Position the Fusion 1 at the correct angle and start the drive motor by pressing the front button once. The Fusion 1 should be moved forward at a constant speed and pressure along the area to be welded. Transitions and corners can be reworked with the Plastifix push tool to provide a good cosmetic finish. The weld bead dimension can be checked easily with the welding gauge. To purge the welding shoe while cooling down the Fusion 1, cut a piece of the welding rod. With a pair of pliers, push the welding rod into the shoe approximately 3 inches and hold it for a few seconds. Then pull on the welding rod to remove the plastic plug from inside the shoe. This is very important because the PTFE portion of the shoe will separate from the shoe holder if the weld drive motor is restarted after the plast inside the shoe cools, if it is not purged properly. Before turning off the power, turn the red temperature knob down to zero and let the gun cool down until display says off. Thank you for using the Leicester Fusion 1.